they pulled the bag out of it, a black attache case in the back seat, a, a, like a bluish color bag, told me he was going to shoot me and put it to the back of my head. So I, 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 I hit the brakes, he flew forward, and I drove right here, pulled in here, and hit the horn on you guys. He kept dialing 911, telling everybody I was kidnapping him. some kind of a blue bag and he put it like right here to the back of my neck. It sounded like you had medication and stuff in it too. It sounded like it had medication in it and stuff too when you put it to the back of my right, neck. Here, come over and talk to me. Where are you guys coming from? I picked him up at some house in, in Clark. I, um, what it's you, in my phone. What do you, Lyft, Uber? I'm an Uber, and he told me to take him to Staten Island. I kept telling him, listen, the address it's telling me to take you to is not Staten Island. It's Clark. You can look up my Uber thing. Yeah, no. It keeps telling me to go to Clark. Yeah. He's telling me, listen, I told you to go to Staten Island. You're going to go where the I tell you to go. I said, listen. I said, okay, no problem. I started turning around to take him back where I picked him up. When I turned around and started taking him back, he pulled a thing out of the black bag and put it to the back of my neck and told me, I'm going to fucking blow your head off. All right. After that, I hit the brakes. He came flying into the back seat. I pushed him mean, to the where, front seat. Where? I pushed him back into the back, and I just kept holding the lock button and pushing him into the back seat until right. I drove here. I was, right here? I was coming up Style Street. Okay. All right. Do you know where up Styles? Um, before the light. Hey, sir. Uh, Is it okay to look and check your car out? Help yourself, bro. All right. You're allowed to stop us at any time, and you're going to be present for it, okay? Yo, I'll let you know. There's, there's right. a, the only thing in my car is in an armrest. There's a, there's a, a pocket, a red pocket right. knife. That's it. Okay. No problem. But uh, he pulled out some kind of a bag. It looked like it was like a, a dark color, like blue or black. And when he put it to my neck, it sounded like it had medication bottles and stuff in it, too. All right. Where, um, you said by the light on Styles. Which light on Styles? Um, as you come down, as you make the, you know, you know how if you come down Styles Street, like you're on, you're coming from like past Winfield Park, you make that, you make that little, like, yeah. the, at that light uh, off of Valley Road, you make the left. Yeah. Before you get to the next light at that little, um, I don't need, I can't, I'm, I, yeah, okay. before you get to that light, that's where he did that, okay. and then I just come, made a complete U-turn, I hit my brakes, he came into the front, I pushed him into the back, I kept pushing him into the back, and pushing the lock button, because when I did that, he dropped the bag, or whatever he had, whatever he pulled out. Okay. And he kept telling me he was going to shoot me. And I just drove straight here. Yeah. Are you on? Um, you live around here? I live in Roselle. Okay. I used to drive a taxi in Linden. Oh, yeah? And I stopped so, because it is. That's why you know where everything yeah. is. Yeah. That's why I stopped. That's, that's why I stopped doing the taxi. Even my uncle, he told me to stop doing this. He was a councilman. He said, it's getting bad here. You know, he used to be a councilman in Linden. He just, you know, a couple of years ago. Yeah. I won't lie to you, bro. When I hit the brakes, he came flying. I pushed him into the back. I did not strike him or yeah. nothing. I pushed him into the back seat. And every time he kept trying, he tried to climb into the front to try to get out. And I kept pushing him into the back and pushing him into the back until I got here. And I kept holding the, pushing the lock button on my car. Can you, um... Can you give this officer your, your baby date of birth and all that stuff? All of, yeah, uh, well, my ID is inside my um, inside the armrest. There's a um, a green uh, TD bank uh, for your Mac card. All my ID and everything's okay. in there. All right, cool. Hey, let's have a seat for lunch. Where do you live? Listen, there's always two sides to a story. If I was kidnapped, why would I bring him here? How long have you been doing Uber? About three months. And you were a taxi driver before that? Thank you. I still have my I still have my hack license and everything. I'm gonna put this
this back in the center console. All right. If, if he said it was a gun. He said, I'll blow your head off. And it, sounded, it was something dark and it had medication inside. I heard me run medication rattling. And then I hit, when he said that, I hit my brakes. He came into the front seat. And when he did, I pushed him into the back seat. And I kept holding the lock button until I got here. And he kept trying to climb out the passenger seat in the front. And I kept pushing him into the back as I was driving. And he was dialing 911, telling him I was beating him up and I was kidnapping him. And if I was kidnapping him, why would I bring him right here? Because he, he was arguing over me, telling me I better take him to fucking Staten Island. But the address in my phone was saying Clark. And he kept telling me I was taking the to Staten so, Island. If I didn't, I was going to have a problem and this and that. So I started to bring him back to where I picked him up. And that's when he did that thing to the back of my neck. Fine. 